Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is 8th grade, Module 7, Lesson 4, Converse of the Pythagorean Theorem. After this lesson, you need to be able to determine if a triangle is a right triangle by using the converse of the Pythagorean Theorem. Let's learn. Converse of the Pythagorean Theorem. So we learned in the last lesson that the Pythagorean Theorem only works for right triangles. So, in this lesson, the converse of the Pythagorean Theorem states that if the sides of a triangle have lengths a, b, and c, and a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then the triangle is a right triangle. Essentially, what the converse of the Pythagorean Theorem is saying is, if the Pythagorean Theorem works for the three sides that were given, then the triangle is a right triangle, since the Pythagorean Theorem only works for right triangles. A good way to think about this is if you reverse the if and then statements of the Pythagorean theorem, then you formed the converse. So in the original Pythagorean theorem, it says if a triangle is a right triangle, then a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So for the converse, if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then the triangle is a right triangle. Consider the triangle with dimensions 3 meters, 4 meters, and 5 meters, as shown in the picture. To determine if this triangle is a right triangle, we're just going to use the converse of the Pythagorean theorem to see if it's true. So does a squared plus b squared equal c squared? If it does, then we have a right triangle. If we plug in 3 as one of our legs, 4 is another leg. Is 3 squared plus 4 squared equal to 5 squared? Let's check. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. Add them together, we get 25. Is 5 squared equal to 25? Yes. So since a squared plus b squared was equal to c squared, we just showed that the Pythagorean theorem worked for this triangle. This is a right triangle. Example one, use the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. A carpenter is framing a wall and needs to ensure that the wooden boards form a right angle. Determine whether the triangle shown is a right angle. So we can use our converse of our Pythagorean theorem. If a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then the triangle is a right triangle. The lengths of our triangle are 6 feet, 8 feet, and 10 feet. Let's check to see if the Pythagorean theorem works. So our legs were 6 and 8, and our hypotenuse was 10. Is 6 squared plus a squared equal to 10 squared? 6 squared is 36, a squared is 64, 10 squared is 100. So if we add the two leg squares together, do we get the hypotenuse squared? 36 plus 64 is 100. Since we got the same thing and showed that the Pythagorean theorem worked, this satisfies the converse of the Pythagorean theorem, and therefore the triangle is a right triangle. Check your understanding. Using the picture, determine whether the triangle is a right triangle. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. This is not a right triangle. So to do that, we're going to check to see if the Pythagorean theorem works. Is a squared plus b squared equal to c squared? 12 squared is 144. 24 squared is 576. Is that equal to 27 squared? That's 729. 144 plus 576 is 720, not 729. So they are really close. So this angle here is probably really close to being a right angle. However, they are not exactly equal. So this would not be a right triangle. If it's not a right triangle, such as this situation, you could decide if it's an acute triangle or if it's an obtuse triangle. The key there is looking at the hypotenuse. If the hypotenuse is smaller than the two sides squares, then it would be acute. Acute is a smaller angle. This one, 729, is larger than my leg squares. The larger angle would be obtuse. So this triangle would be an obtuse triangle, slightly larger than a right triangle. But it is not a right triangle. And that's the important thing in this lesson. Example two. Use the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. Angela is creating a rectangular patio in her backyard. 
In order to ensure that the patio space has right angle corners, she measures the diagonal to create a triangle. Determine whether the triangle shown is a right triangle. So is a squared plus b squared equal to c squared? 13 and 20 were our legs. 25 was our hypotenuse. Squaring those out, we get 169 plus 400. Is that equal to 625? We end up with 569. That is not equal to 625. And since the Pythagorean theorem was not true, the triangle she made is not a right triangle. Check your understanding. Read through the situation and use the picture to determine if this is showing a right triangle. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have found that yes, it is a right triangle. Now here's where the converse of the Pythagorean theorem is helpful. This doesn't necessarily look like it's a right angle here, but it's just the perspective of the picture. If we check, does 60 squared plus 63 squared equal 87 squared? Let's use a calculator to get these values. So 60 times 60 is 3,600. 63 times 63 is 3,969. Add that together, we get 7,569, that's a six. Is that equal to 87 squared? 87 times 87 is 7,569. So I got the same thing, a squared plus b squared was equal to c squared. Since the Pythagorean theorem worked, this is a right triangle, even though it might not look like it in the picture.